Hi, I'm Kenzie. Welcome back to my podcast. If you are just joining, welcome. Today we will be talking about my sixth Little Bear VHS, Winter Tales. This VHS includes Snowball Fight, Winter Solstice, Snowbound, and Little Bear in the North Pole. First, let's talk about Snowball Fight. This episode starts out with Little Bear asking Father Bear if he would like to go outside with him. Father Bear wished he could, but he couldn't because he had to finish the budget. So Little Bear played with his jacks instead. He counted them out loud. Father Bear asked him to count them more quietly. So he did. But Father Bear was having trouble with the budget. Mother Bear joined in the counting by counting the stitches in her knitting. Father Bear was grumpy. So Mother Bear recommended a walk in the snow. She would do the budget while Father Bear and Little Bear walked in the snow. The scene transitions to Little Bear and Father Bear putting on their snowshoes because the snow was deep. Little Bear made cool snowshoe prints. Father Bear pointed to the sky and saw big fat clouds. Little Bear noticed that he and Father Bear can make their own clouds. Father Bear mentioned that they can make a snowman too, but first they had to find the right spot. So they played follow the leader. The scene transitions to Little Bear and Father Bear walking in the snow. The scene then transitions to them beginning the snowman. Then Little Bear threw a snowball at Father Bear. He got him! Father Bear threw one back, but missed. Then Little Bear got hit with a snowball by Cat. He surprised him. Father Bear surprised Little Bear. Then Little Bear asked Cat to be on his team. Father Bear thought that was unfair. I mean, it's two against one. Then Duck entered the scene to ask if he can be on Father Bear's team. Little Bear threw a snowball at Duck, but missed. Then Hen entered the scene. She and Duck were on Father Bear's team. The snowball fight continued. Then Owl entered the scene to be on Father Bear's team. He, Duck, and Hen needed all the help they can get. Then the snowball fight continued. Everyone had fun, even Duck, even though she was out of control. Then another snowball was thrown at Father Bear. It was Mother Bear who threw it. And then, charge! The snowball fight really continued and ended with everyone on the ground. It was a great snowball fight. Then Little Bear and Father Bear got hungry. Mother Bear suggested that everyone goes home and they'll have some hot soup. On the way home, Mother Bear told them that she finished the budget. Little Bear asked what a budget is exactly. Mother Bear explained that it's a list of things they need and things they don't. Then Little Bear mentioned all the things that were in the budget, like hot soup, cakes, and even snowball fights, which was right at the top of the list. And that's how the episode ends. Now let's talk about the episode as a whole. I feel like this episode was a lot of fun, because snowball fights can be a fun activity to do in the snow. That's all I have to say. All in all, it's a fun episode. Now let's talk about Winter Solstice. This episode starts out with Little Bear at the table with lots of food on it. He asked when everyone can eat. Mother Bear said soon because they were waiting for Grandmother Bear and Grandfather Bear. He looked out the window for them. There they were, walking towards the house. Little Bear went outside to greet them and to say Happy Winter Solstice. Then his family went to hang the lanterns on the tree. It was part of a tradition. You see, they hang lanterns to bring in the snow angels of winter. Then they sang a song about how much they love winter. Then they hung food on the tree because the snow angels get hungry. Little Bear thought they would like angel food cake. Everyone laughed. Then Little Bear brought cookies to hang on the tree. His family sang the song again, and all of Little Bear's friends came to sing too. He told the tra tradition his family does for the snow angels. Then they had some snowy fun. They went sledding, had a snowball fight, and made snow angels. Then it was time to eat. Everyone had a fantastic dinner. Outside, the snow angels came. Well, they were really animals like deer, birds, and bunny rabbits. Inside, everyone sat around the fire and sang the song yet again. At the end of the song, Little Bear wished everyone a happy winter solstice and looked out the window to see if the snow angels have come yet. He noticed all the food was gone from the tree. Grandfather Bear thought the snow angels must have come and gone. Little Bear missed them. He went outside and noticed a deer. He asked if it was a snow angel. Then he climbed up the tree to grab the last cookie and gave it to the deer. The deer walked back with the rest of the animals, and Little Bear wished them a happy winter solstice. And that's how the episode ends. Now let's talk about the episode as a whole. I feel like this episode was also fun. I mean, every single character came together to celebrate something special. I love the holidays, especially winter solstice. They're a fun time of coming together to of celebration. All in all, it's a good episode. Now let's talk about Snowbound. This episode starts out with Little Bear, Mother Bear, and Father Bear walking in the snow to Emily's house. Emily and Lucy were worried that Little Bear and his family might be lost. Granny assured them that Little Bear was a very smart cub. Then Emily saw Little Bear, Mother Bear, and Father Bear. What a storm they walked in. Little Bear said hello to Emily and Granny. Then Tutu showed Mother Bear the chair to sit in. Emily gave her some hot sassafras tea. 
Granny proposed a toast to old friends, new friends, the best of friends, and Little Bear added their first blizzard together. Then everyone drank the hot sassafras tea. As the snow continued to fall, Granny decided to make something special with a little help from Little Bear because he knew all about dessert. They took an ordinary empty bowl, filled it with snow, added a few magic ingredients, and said the magic words. Whether the weather be cold, or whether the weather be hot, we'll weather the weather, whatever the weather, whether we like it or not. It turned out they made snow cream, which was just like ice cream, only blizzard flavor. Everyone had a fantastic time that Little Bear wished he didn't have to leave. His wish had come true. What does that mean? They were snowbound. That means they can't get out because of all the snow. They had to stay the night. Little Bear and Emily were excited. Granny set their sleeping places by the fire and gave Little Bear some pajamas. Then Mother Bear and Father Bear came downstairs to show them their fancy pajamas. Granny told them she was trapped in the royal palace for days because of a blizzard a long time ago. She learned how to dance. Now let me tell you, Granny dances well. After some fun dancing, everyone lied down by the fire and told jokes. Then it was time to go to sleep. Granny blew out the candle. The next day, a knock on the door was heard. It was Moose. He heard everyone was snowbound and made a path. So Little Bear climbed on Moose, and he, Mother Bear, and Father Bear were off heading home. Little Bear thought it was fun being snowbound at Granny's house and couldn't wait to do it again. On the way home, everyone said the magic words again. And that's how the episode ends. Now let's talk about the episode as a whole. I feel like this episode was interesting. I mean, it's no fun being snowbound. I couldn't believe Little Bear and Emily were excited about that. Then again, I don't blame them. I mean, they didn't even know what snowbound meant. Also, they found ways to have fun during a blizzard. I think what the writers were trying to do is to teach us what to do when we are stuck in a real blizzard. Don't panic and just find ways to have fun. All in all, it's a good episode. Now let's talk about Little Bear and the North Pole. This episode starts out with Little Bear walking in the snow and following a compass. The scene transitions to Duck just standing on a frozen solid pond. She was upset because there was nowhere to splash or swim. Little Bear suggested that she should come with him to the North Pole. He explained the North Pole is where the snow comes from. It's very cold and nobody lives there. He wanted to go there because that's where explorers go. It would be an adventure. So Duck followed Little Bear to the North Pole. He showed her his compass and how to use it. All she had to do was point it at the end and follow the arrow. Duck tried it. She repeated the most important rule. Just follow the N. Suddenly, she bumped into a tree and snow fell on her. Luckily, she was okay. Duck thought she found the North Pole because it was where the snow came from and was pointing to the N. A squirrel told her she was miles away from it. Little Bear told Duck it wasn't the North Pole because, as he mentioned, nobody lives there. Then Little Bear suggested that he should use the compass because compasses make Duck's head hurt. Then they slid down a little hill and onto the ice. You see, explorers have all kinds of adventures. As Little Bear helped Duck up, some beavers came and knocked them down while playing hockey. They asked Little Bear and Duck if they want to play with them. The thing was, they didn't have tails like the beavers, so they gave them some sticks. Duck didn't know how to play, so one beaver told her she should be the stopper. And then the game had begun. Duck stopped the puck, and Little Bear scored a point. After a fun game of hockey, Little Bear and Duck continued their adventure to the North Pole. It was getting awfully cold, so Little Bear gave Duck his scarf. They couldn't see, though. Little Bear bumped into Moose. He asked if he and Duck were getting close to the North Pole. Moose suggested that they might, they might try, want to try the hills up ahead. So he gave him a ride because getting there was half the fun. And so Little Bear and Duck arrived at the North Pole. It was pointing to N, and it was where the snow came from. They found it! Then Little Bear suggested that he and Duck could take it back with them and give it to Mother Bear as a present. They tried to lift the pole out of the snow, but it was stuck. Moose helped by loosening it, and Little Bear and Duck successfully pulled it out. The scene transitions to Mother Bear saying goodbye to Moose, Duck splashing in the tub, and Little Bear having hot chocolate. And that's how the episode ends. Now let's talk about the episode as a whole. I feel like this episode really helps to expand our imaginations. I mean, going to the North Pole is a huge adventure for any explorer. That's all I have to say. All in all, it's a good episode. So yeah, that's Winter Tales. If you would like to play again, just go back to the beginning of this episode. See you next time. Bye!